So hey guys, welcome to Liquidation Motivation. In this video today, I am gonna show you some of the best pricing strategies for bin stores. All right, guys, so first of all, the first strategy we're gonna talk about, we're gonna label, we're gonna call it the basic strategy, right? I got that from, from gambling, right? Playing cards, the basic strategy is a, is a blackjack term. You get this little card. Um, but the basic strategy is, where the hell is my pen? Did I just lose my pen? How am I supposed to do this video without my pen? Did you take my pen? What's up, man? How you doing, buddy? Long time no see, man. I just had the damn thing. Damn it. There's my pen. Okay, now we can get started. So basic strategy, right? Basic strategy for any bin store is really a five, four, three, two, one bin store. Lowering the price every day. You know what, some people wanna do a bin store where they have bins different prices. I don't really like that strategy. It's too confusing for the customer. Train your customers, they, they will understand your pricing strategy after a little while. Maybe not the first time they're in there, but you explain how the store works and then you never have to explain it again. After a while, you'll, you'll stop explaining. But a bin store, the prices fall every day. So the basic strategy for a bin store is doing a five, four, three, two, one. And my favorite day to start is a Saturday. So on Saturday, we have our $5 day. Sunday is $4 day. Monday is $3 day. Tuesday is $2 day. Wednesday is $1 day. And then we shut down Thursday and Friday, okay? What's that? What about zero? No zero, we never give away stuff for free. Can you see the marker? No. You forgot to add something. Tyson thinks it's important to add the dollar signs to our chart. The boys have the week off because it's Thanksgiving week, so. Uh, and I cut myself yesterday. You cut yourself, so they, they have to come to work. Okay, there we go. So we have the five, four, three, two, one basic strategy. A lot of bin stores do that, but there is a downside to that strategy. I mean, the good thing is when you do this strategy, if you have full, so I run these stores with only three employees. So I run all three employees on Saturday, two on Sunday, two on Monday, two on Tuesday, three on Wednesday, right? And then after we close down Wednesday, we reload the bins for the next Saturday. All right, that gives everybody two full days off, right? Two days off. It's a real easy strategy to run it with three people. Simple to do, simple math, uh, you know, high profit. Uh, the problem with this is that I do a lot of sales on my $5 day, hardly any sales on the $4 day because the value proposition difference is very little. $3 day does okay. So let, let me say, on a, let's do a scale of one to 10. This day is a 10, right? The $4 day ends up being like a two, very low sales. The $3 day ends up being like a four, not too bad. The $2 day, they find an, a higher value proposition in the $2 day, that becomes like a seven. And then your $1 day becomes a 10 again. Really good sales. 11? So on a scale of one to 10, remember 10, two, four, seven, 10. Hey guys, if you agree with what I'm saying here, put it down in the comment section below. Or tell me your pricing strategy. This is one right here. Now these are two days off. Now once a month, we do a $20 bag sale day, and then we do a $10 bag sale day just to empty the bins. We do that once a month. That seems to work out pretty good. Um, some people do that weekly, I do it monthly, okay? 20 and 10. But what we also do is whatever doesn't sell on a $10 day, then we fill up a box, we get a box, right? We get a good size box. Toby, go get one of those boxes that we f they fill up, the, this, the ones from CVS, right? We fill up a box and then we sell these boxes for $15. And so these are, these are, they don't know what's in them. We just fill them packed full and then we sell them for 15 bucks. This seems to work really well. They're just mystery boxes. People love buying mystery boxes. All right, let me put mystery down the side. M-Y-S-T-E-R-Y. -E there we go. Is that how you spell mystery? I think so. So this is the size of our, this is what we get our CVS merchandise in. So we fill up one of these boxes with, with the rest of the merchandise. People love to buy them. There might be, you know what's left over in a bin. They buy them. They'd rather buy them, they'd rather buy them unseen than they would have, you know, looking at the merchandise. It's weird. It's, it's like a psychology thing for people. So I have another, so that's basic strategy number one, five, four, three, two, one. Number two, we have a second store. Some people utilize the thought that 
you're paying rent every day, so you might as well be open every day, right? Why would you shut down a store if you're paying rent every day? So we have an, I have another store that my pricing strategy is we start on Thursday, right? Where Thursday is $20, Friday is $10, Saturday we start to the five, four, three, two, one. So what? why we did this pricing strategy in store number two, this is my store number one, and this is store number two. Why we, cha why we did that pricing strategy was that during uh, the coronavirus, we couldn't get the high piece count as much as, as we used to be able to get them. So we had to figure, there were, but the mediums were readily available everywhere. So I was putting the mediums in the store. So I was buying the medium truckloads, taking out the stuff from my big store and putting the rest of the stuff in there. But there's still $50, $100, $200 items in the medium pallets. So I had to have a $20 and $10 day to pay for those mediums. And then I went back to the traditional. So I mixed the mediums with the uh, high piece count. Yes. When's your days to unload? My days to unload, I, I, I'm in there every day unloading. So I'm filling up on Thursday with the, with the big stuff, but then on Friday I'm filling up for the smaller stuff and just keeping those bins full. So that works out pretty good for me. I still have the problem where the $4 day is a really insignificant day. I might, I'm only doing like $1,000 on that day compared to $5,000 on my $5 day. So, so it definitely drops off. So here's pricing strategy. I'm opening up my bin store, the third bin store right now. Here's another pricing strategy. So what some people do is on Saturday, they do $5, right? And because the $4 day is your weakest day, you do another $5 day on Sunday. That doesn't make sense, right? But yes, it does because we reload the bins on Sunday. So now our strategy is fill the bins Saturday morning, Fill them full, right? Halfway through the day on Saturday, we fill them up again. So that way, because if you notice, you do most of your sales in the first two hours of business, right? You got a line of 150 people out the door, they all come in, they all buy a bunch of stuff and they're done two hours later, you're slow for the rest of the day. So you do all your sales in the first two hours. I wanna try to eliminate that by restocking. So my stores are open 10 to six daily. So that is an eight hour shift, right? Notice it's eight hours, five days, 40 hours a week. I'm, that fills a full-time employee's uh, salary. So, so from 10 to two, I'll have my first run. And then, it, so from two to six, I'll reload on Saturday. That's Saturday, right? And then Sunday, once again, I'll load up again at 10 o'clock and run it till two. I'll load up again at two o'clock and run it till, oh, did I say four? I meant six till six, so Sunday we'll, I'll reload. So there'll be four reload points. One, two, three, four. Trying to get more people in the store on Saturdays and Sundays, which I believe are the freest days off. So then I have five, five, and then we go to three, two, one. Five, five, three, two, one. I think it's a much, much better strategy than five, four, three, two, one. So I'm just trying to make sure I get the right inventory down to get it, get it proper so that we can start the store off. All right, so that's number three. I think I'm gonna go with that, but I'm contemplating one other pricing strategy that I might do. And that would be, are you ready for this? Saturday, $7, right? Because sometimes you get high, there, there's, there's these new high piece counts that look like returns that I'm getting a little bit better value items in there. And I can buy them, they're relatively cheap per truckload, so I can, if I can get a, a good inflow at seven bucks, that I can make money on them. So I'm thinking about doing, instead of five, five, doing seven, 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 five. Keep in mind seven, seven, I'm restocking the same thing I was doing with five, five. Seven, seven, five, three, one. Seven, seven, five, three, one, reload days, reload days, right? These are our reload days, okay? I still would do the 20 and 10 bag sales once a month. So seven, seven, five, three, one. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, this is number three, number four. I am thinking this number four strategy is what I'm gonna do in my third bin store. Seven, seven, five, three, one. And then once I master it, you know, you don't have to have all your bin stores the same pricing strategy. I would have most of them. With three bin stores, I'm gonna find out the best pricing strategy and put that in two. And then the last one, I need to do the 20 and 10 because I gotta get rid of the bulk, right? I get so much of the bulk, I gotta get rid of the bulk. So having a $20, there's one day that we had enough bulk that we did 10,000 in sales on our $20 day. It was fantastic. I don't average that much, but that was my best day. I probably average between 
I don't know, somewhere between three and five thousand on my twenty dollar day using Amazon mediums. You know, that goes down to a couple thousand on ten, five thousand on five. Remember, only a thousand on four, maybe two thousand on three, three thousand on two, and then another five thousand on one. That's basically how it works. But I'm gonna try this new strategy for my third bin store. Seven, seven, five, three, one. Why no two? Because uh, I want to do the two days off. Yeah, I'm skipping by two because I don't. I think that sometimes these prices are too close, where somebody's somebody doesn't think there's value coming in on on some of these days. So I think if I separate it like this, it would be the best value for everybody. So guys, tell me your pricing strategy at your bin store. How do you price it? I need to master what the right numbers are, what the right loads. Everybody knows. Everybody knows to use the high piece count loads. Everybody, a lot of people are using these new high piece count loads that look a little messier, look like returns, a lot of bagged up stuff, um, but there are a bunch, a lot of stuff with value in them, so I like the loads, and they're a lot cheaper. Um, I'm also mixing with CVS, I'm mixing with Home Depot when I can get the Home Depot Turbo Smalls. Uh, I'm, I'm mixing everything together. Hey guys, if you like this video, please watch these other two videos, Six Rules for a Bin Store Owner, and How to Run and Fill a Bin Store Up. Click these links right here to watch the next video. Thank you.